Hey guys, Kira Summer here, and today I present the CS Production Super Golf YouTuber Awards of 2023, which honors Super Golf YouTubers who make content that's engaging for viewers. There are a lot more entries than I thought there would be, 21 to be exact, and they're all competing in four divisions sorted by subscriber count. At the end, one channel will get the illustrious Super Golf YouTuber of the Year Award, which is awarded to the channel with the best combination of entertaining content, game performance, and viewer engagement. There is one channel that almost won this that you might not expect. The contestants will be given a score out of 100 for entertainment value and game performance. Entertainment value is how engaging a video is. This can be achieved through thoughtful editing, commentary that fluctuates in mood, keeping the video snappy, including dynamic music and several other techniques. Game performance is how good at the game the host is. This, along with my last video, have been the two hardest videos to produce in the history of this channel, both of them requiring several days of preparation in order to even record them. And this one required a lot of post-production work as well, as you can see in front of you. And if that doesn't deserve a subscribe, I know what does. Let's start with the birdie division. In 7th place with 37 points, we've got Cameron Roblox. In 6th place with 38 points, we've got Cool Doge Lord. In 5th place with 47 points, we've got Doc Perks, Dope Perks, one of the two. In 4th place with 50 points, we've got Duded. In 3rd place with 51 points, we've got our first bronze award of the year, Oofy is Goofy. I felt very goofy saying that. In 2nd place with 60 points, we've got Blade YT. And finally, in 1st place with 70 points, we got Hyper Fluxite. This channel outperformed not only the entire birdie division, but all the channels in the Eagle and Albatross divisions in terms of viewer engagement. Hyper Fluxite keeps his videos snappy and even features light usage of text commentary, which was only done by two other channels in this contest. Now for the Eagle division. Starting in 5th place with 25 points, we've got Dom the Super Golf Sweat. In 4th place with 45 points, we've got How the Hole in 1. In 3rd place with 47 points, we've got Jackson.mp3. In 2nd place with 64 points, we've got Fire. And finally, in 1st place with 65 points, we've got Pinkaroo. Now for the Albatross Division. And there were only two channels in the Albatross Division this year. In 2nd place, with 50 points, we've got Matthias G88. And in 1st place, with 65 points, we've got Lima Gamers. Both of these channels play Super Golf very well, which both got them both 30 out of 30 points in game performance. They make perfecting maps look easy. And I got the idea. <laughs> and their videos are decent at the same time. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, the Condor Division. There were seven channels in the Condor Division this year, just like the Birdie Division. So, let's get started. And also, I will mention, I'm not one of them. I feel that'd be pretty cheap to include myself in my own competition. Starting in 7th place, we've got the dumpster fire of the entire contest. With a whopping 5 points, it's Miranda Damien. This channel has over 60,000 subscribers, and I was really, really expecting more from them. The only Super Golf videos they've done are on codes, which isn't entertaining at all. And to add to that, they include almost no edits, and not to mention, they suck at the game. Like, they're worse than me. <laughs> Moving on to 6th place with 11 points, we've got Red, Green, Blue. In 5th place with 30 points, we've got Dena Kaltidi Roblox, who spams 15 second long videos and makes no attempt to sustain an audience. You might be losing hope in the Condor Division, but starting in 4th place with 55 points, the qu content quality picks up with Dead Dread 77. In 3rd place with 62 points, you've got Oh Cool Gamer. In 2nd place with 65 points, John we've got Sam. Joe Finger! I don't know why I said it like that. I have used several of Joe Finger's videos for finding sensitivities I simply couldn't find on my own because they're entertaining to watch and some of his golf shots look ungodly.
And finally, in first place with 78 points, the winner of the Condor Division. Drum roll, please. It is Udu Pinky Winky. This channel exceeded my expectations in terms of viewer engagement. They kept me watching a 13 minute video. There were several minutes that made me laugh, such as their fans screaming in agony during a friction race. Why? NOL. Bro. LOL. Bro. Phoenix. Bro. 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 You literally went around hole. IGT. They could have easily gotten over 80 points if they leaned into editing a bit more and used the text commentary that's present at the beginning and end throughout the entire video. And now, for the biggest award of them all, the Super Golf YouTuber of the Year. And the Super Golf YouTuber of 2023, at least according to me, is Unu Pinky Gamer. Did I, what the? What is Unu Pinky? Why did I write that in the script? So I've already explained their content style and how well it works earlier, but they also have solid channel branding that differentiates them from other YouTubers and a fan base that puts on a good show. That doesn't mean they're perfect though. One of the Burry Division YouTubers, Hyperfluxite, came very close to winning this award. What this means is that it isn't always the Condor Division YouTubers with thousands of, of subscribers that are the best, and the Birdie Division YouTubers with less than 100 that are the worst. This year, the Condor Division was actually home to the two lowest scoring channels in the entire contest. I've already talked about Miranda Davian. There's still room for improvement even for the curious Super Golf YouTuber of the Year in editing and use of commentary. If you would like to print out your awards, and everyone that participated at least got a certificate, I will have them in a Google Drive folder until October 29th, 2023. After that, they'll be gone forever.